Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nicole or Nicole Nook here on YouTube and over on Instagram. For today's video, I want to go visit another random dream address. Except today, I think I want to try to look at just one instead of doing like a bunch of different ones like I did in the last video. This way I can give the islands a more in-depth tour and look at all the details of the island. I think it'll be a little bit more fun. I love doing these dream address tour videos, so if you have a dream address that you'd like me to visit, I do have a new Google Forms that I made if you want me to tour. It has just a few questions on there, just like, give me your dream address and your name and all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like me to come tour your island, please fill that out because I would love to do more of these videos. They're a lot of fun. Okay, let's get dreaming. Okay, Luna, surprise me. What's our random dream of the day? Atlantis. It just made me think of Atlantis Square Pantis. Okay, we're here. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Let's go take a look at their flag. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, wait, let's take a look at the map first. That's like the first thing that I like to do, get myself situated. Oh, wow, they have a lot of um, island houses. Holy crap. So let's go through these. We have, oh, I'm going to say that wrong, Shalandry. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Luna, Amber, hey, that's my middle name. Is that Magi, Mystic? I don't know, I'm sorry. Logan, Zelda, and then for our islanders, we have Zucker, Kabuki, Drago, Gladys, Pico, Dora, Mary, Snake, Pierce, and Renee. And of course, if you want to come visit this island on your own, the dream dress is at the bottom there. And I'm going to be putting it in the description as well. Okay, let's just get right into it. Um, I want to say this path border here is so pretty with like the flowers interchanged with the stones. I wonder if they like chose to do that on their own. I really like how that looks, so it's very, very pretty. Okay, so right next to resident services here, we have our museum, and I'm like already in shock over this, and I've only seen like the side of it, so let's go. Okay, this is so cool. They have like a bunch of fossils, statues, and I like how they have like the random gyroids everywhere. It looks really cool. I was wondering if Zelda was going to be like referencing the game, and I'm guessing so because we have the Hylian Crest right here. I really like this museum house, just like a big display of art and all kinds of things. I love the Brewstoid on the outside, of course, too. We gotta have some Brewster representation. And they have like a big walkway down here with all kinds of flowers and statues. It's just like its own big garden. Wow, that is so, so pretty. I just keep saying that, but this is gorgeous. So I'm gonna go take a peek at the beach just because we're right next to it. I like the very minimal decorations here. I think it looks really natural. I love these little, um, what do you call these? I don't know. But you can look out at the ocean. That's really cute. And of course they have some chairs up here. Oh, look at the little link. I love it. I love this little deck that it's on too. It looks super cozy. I just want to go down here. Oh my god, is that a poop? <laughs> I like that their beaches are very just like classically decorated with like, you know, actual beach items i love these life preservers next to the ocean they're really cute i like this too because it looks like a big floaty so right below the resident services here we have like this little i don't know it's like a little like food spot to eat at i really like that i like how this creator used the in-game paths with a bunch of custom designs over top i always really like how that looks Look at how pretty everything is. Everything looks just so like intentional. I love how it has so much symmetry. So we weren't too far away from our entrance. Here's their airport. And right to the left, they have all of their mailboxes, like a little post office area, which is really cute. I can't believe how many houses this island has. It's insane. I really like how they have the custom design that looks like a package. That's really awesome. Right here we have somebody's house. I'm not sure whose house this is, but it looks really cool. So this is actually Zucker's house. His house is really cool. I never noticed that before unless they customize it. I'm not sure, but I like his roof a lot. But he has like a little coffee stand. It's very cozy and cute. And there's all shops to the right, which I actually want to go check out right now. So behind Zucker's house, we have like this alleyway, which is really cool with all kinds of little shops and everything. I don't know if it's supposed to, but this island honestly reminds me of like Zelda games. Oh, look at our Able Sisters here. I like how they use this item. It matches so well with the uh, Able Sisters. It looks really good. I like these like little alleyway things. Oh yeah, look at this. We have our nooks right here. 
So they have like this whole shopping district going on. I think that looks awesome. And I'm really obsessed with these items. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I made a store and I gave Judy about like 10 of those at her store. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is so sweet. We got to get a better view here. Oh, this is so pretty. So they have a big fountain and I just, I was obsessed with the karopi in the ducks up here. Oh, look how pretty that is with the butterfly flying. So in between our Abel's and our Nook's, they have this other alleyway, like I've been saying. And they have like an EBD, they have some vending machines. I think that's really cool. Gives it like a city slash town feel, I like that. Oh, and look at how pretty this is. It's just a little walkway with the pergolas. I love these items, I'm obsessed. And we have another villager house up here. Wow, this is amazing. I love that mushroom um, wreath on the door that matches that house super well. To the left, they just have that little like woodsy area, but then when you come over here, they have this entire rainbow garden. Oh my god. Oh, I just noticed the little, um, I don't remember what these are called because I haven't seen the movie, but he's holding a stick. Like, look at that. You can't tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Oh, wow. So they have like this entire like farm area because they have all kinds of trees. I love this cactus too. Just a whole rainbow garden. That is so pretty. And then in the front, they have like a little shop where they sell their flowers. Oh, I love it. So down here was our museum. So we're going to go up and behind and see what's going on back here. Ooh, we have one of our villagers or our residents. Oh, this is our main one. Again, I don't know how to say that name. Chalandry, maybe? I hope you're doing well today. Their outfit is really cute too. I like it. Okay, I'm distracted by this. So I want to go look at this first. Oh, this is adorable. They have like a little berry area. And I've seen so many people use like the red flowers as strawberries, but I've never seen somebody use blue ones. Be like maybe blueberries or something. I don't know, but that looks really cute. And I like how they put the extra cushion up here to make it look like another bag of soil. I kind of want to just explore the beach really quick before we go on to everything else. So behind our little fresh fruit stand here. Okay, I'm distracted by this like mushroom item over here. I think this is really interesting the way that they paired all of the mush items together. Like, I like how they put two of the partitions together. It just looks like a huge field of mushrooms. That's really cool. And over here, on top of this, um, like the Mario mushroom, they put some mushrooms. And that's really cool. It looks like it just has some extra growth. I love the beaches on this island. They're super cozy. Like, this one has just like a little campfire and a bench and a hammock. Oh, and look at the little shoes. Like, somebody took their shoes off and they're laying on the hammock. It's so cute. And then their back rock over here. <laughs> I love how they have a cannon and then they put like a stone on the ground to make it look like a cannonball. That was really clever. I'm with this person. I like am honestly addicted to these snapping turtles. I need to put them somewhere on my island because <laughs> they're really cool. I wish we had more creatures that were displayed outside of a cage like this because I think they would be really useful for decorating. Okay, back on land. And I also noticed that this person, they used a lot of um, like these angled signposts to show where everything is. I like that. It's really helpful when you're visiting somebody's island and you're like, oh, I haven't seen the museum yet. Okay, there's a sign because I get lost easily and don't use the map. <laughs> right so up on this incline this is very pretty everything on this island feels like super natural and i really do think that they are going for the zelda vibe because this gyro specifically reminds me of zelda so we have one of our houses so let's go explore this before we go inside i just want to admire how pretty the exterior of this house is it's so gorgeous and i love the yard too just with the little lawn chairs and the screens i really like the custom design code too that looks like a deck that is awesome and if you were wondering, this is Luna's house. So this is like house one of six. <laughs> so for the main room, I like this room. It's just very cozy. I like that they have their little, what the hell is this called? I can't think of it. What is wrong with me? Oh my God. The DIY table. <laughs> I like how they have that right next to their door. That's really convenient. I do the same thing. So for our left room, they have this little kitchen. I really like the color combination here of like the pinks and the browns. It's really cute. Ooh, okay, so here's our back room, and it's like a little bedroom, but it kind of gives me like library slash study vibes. I guess especially with this like den desk over here with the papers and stuff on there. I don't know, this room is like really cool. It's like studious as hell. So our right room is like kind of, this kind of like gives me almost like, I don't know, like playroom vibes. Because over here we have like 
a clay set and some nail polish and then there's like bookshelf and a computer room so it's kind of like oh i'm so sorry i get distracted i really like how they put the um oh my god they put the link jesus christ i want to call him zelda <laughs> but they put him on the computer that looks really cool okay wait this is super cool so upstairs they have like this big aquarium and the wallpaper is so cool because it's like fish actually moving wow oh look at all the fish items they incorporated like on the walls even this is really smart i've seen people do like outdoor aquariums but never an indoor one that's really smart i like how they use the um what are these called the stalls and for our last room of the house they have a basement and i don't know what's going on here i'm a little confused i think it's like i don't know because okay i'm like okay it's a closet they have clothes and a try on room but then they have a camera maybe they are a vlogger i don't know okay this is so pretty they have like a bunch of ducks everywhere and i really like the guy in the middle there <laughs> it's super cute this is like such an interesting like terraforming and waterscaping situation going on here i like how they have the little waterfall going into this and i like the little island in the middle of like the big circular pond i don't feel like i've seen anything like this before so i like it next door we have another villager house and i i haven't used these cube items yet but i've seen a lot of people use like custom designs on them and they look really cool i feel like i i can't i'm like too late to incorporate them into my current island but i want to use them when i make like a city core island i think they're so cool and again we're seeing this deck pattern which i really love i think that like brings a lot of life to a villager's house like for instance this has like a big extension here and they have like a little kitchen it's just like a super cozy little area. I love it. Okay, this I'm really obsessed with. We have a farmer's market going on over here. And these custom design codes of like, I'm sorry that I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but they're just holding the items. They look so cool. Like, like the pile of barrels in the back here. And then behind, of course, they have like their whole garden. And this is so awesome because they just incorporated all of the trees, all of the vegetables. And we even have some watermelons over here. <laughs> I love that they use the storefronts in the back because it looks like a huge barn. And also the little oinkoid. You had to do it and it looks great. Come down here from our farmer's market. And they have this really interesting like pathway situation so you can go up either way and obviously that leads to luna's house we just looked at there's another resident house if we go up over here and then if we go to the back here we have this really pretty fountain and this looks so cool with like all the waterfalls i love how they incorporated the rock on the back of the island and they have a statue on that i mean i can't really get a good angle of it because i can't move my camera far back enough but everything about this is just super cool okay it's me Okay, I'm gonna go up this incline now and see what else we got going on. So we have two houses here. Oh my god, I love how they're matchy-matchy. That's so cute. So we have this one that I can't say. I think it's Magi Mystic. And, oh, it's Drago's house. I'm excited to see what this looks like. They have like a little ramen side outside. So I'm gonna guess it might be like a restaurant. We're gonna see. Oh, my hunch was correct. So we have like a little ramen shop. Oh my god. Wait, this is so cool. I love this combination of the diner counter next to the salad bar. They actually go together super well. That looks awesome. I also love how they use the simple panels and it's like a skinnier doorway. That's really cool. Okay, this is smart. So the back room, they have just like their little kitchen. That's where all the magic happens. Ooh, and I love this flooring because I'm pretty sure this is the one with like the big grate in the middle. <laughs> and they used a carpet to cover that up. It looks really cool. Okay, a room over to the right. We have like this little dining area and this is really smart. I love this table too. It's just like so full of food. I wish they made it in more colors, honestly. This room just feels super cozy. It really feels like an actual restaurant. I love it. And our other side room, it's just kind of like mirroring the other one. It's slightly different though. I love how they incorporated all of the different food items and it actually really works well. Like this color scheme with the tea set, it looks really cute. Like this is like the green room over here. <laughs> I like it. Upstairs is really cool. This is like a little fun arcade area and they have like, what is this called? A foosball table, got pool table, ping pong, got a little bit of everything going on. And then our basement. Okay, this is really cool. So this was like the person that 
owns our ramen restaurant. This is like their little apartment. How they use simple panels to separate like a little bedroom, bathroom area over here. And then you come this way and it's just like their little living space. The furniture that they used is so interesting. I feel like it actually looks like an apartment. And I love the pirate wallpaper. I don't appreciate that enough, but it looks really good down here. Continuing on from the ramen restaurant, we have another house right here. This one kind of reminds me of the other one, except it's red. Oh, and I love the little good luck cats outside. Okay, this is really cool too. I wanted to look at the exterior before we went inside. And I love this incline here that has the cave up top and those statues. I love how it looks abandoned and overgrown. And I also just noticed we have our secret beach down there. So I'm going to take a peek at that really quick. And I love how there's just like this little bench here with the ocarina on there. I guess so Link can come play when he's hanging out. Or maybe Zelda. Could be Zelda. I love this red sign too that says beware. <laughs> Secret Beach is super cute. It's like very abandoned. And of course the skeleton. I like how they use this axe here. It actually works really well. So this house that we're going to check out next is actually the resident rep. That is the name that I can't say. Ooh, they have like such an interesting living room area going on here. It's so colorful. I love all the different items. So for their left room, they have this bathroom and it's really nice. Um, first thing that I noticed was this wallpaper, which I hadn't seen yet. And I really like it. I love the little birdies on there. But then I took notice to this bathtub here that has gyroids in it. And I didn't realize that you could do that. That is iconic and I love it. Their back room is this office space, which kind of gives me vibes of that first house we looked at. But this is like actually like library vibes and that wallpaper is just is so amazing it really brings it to life it's super cool their right room is a kitchen and i think this looks awesome like i said this creator uses such an interesting combination of items and it looks really good together i love how they use the store shelf here because it just looks like a pantry which is really nice and there's just so many different food items everywhere it looks actually like a kitchen i love it for their upstairs, of course, they have a bedroom, but this is like super cool. I think that I am obsessed. Okay, first of all, the butterflies that they have on this plant look like Navi, which is so freaking cool. Oh my god, they're over here too. Hi Navi, what's up girl? I really love the color scheme in here. It's like blue and space inspired, but they also incorporated like a lot of gold. Wait, this is so cool. Okay, they have a basement, but it's like legit basement vibes. I like am obsessed with this for some reason when people make a basement actually look like a cluttered basement. It sounds stupid, but I feel like people just like, you know, make it an extra room, a themed room. But when people have it actually like basement core, I guess you could call it, I think it looks freaking awesome. So this person, they used like so many mismatched items. I love how they have like the little table over here with all kinds of stuff on it. This kind of reminds me of that 70s show in a way. It was also so clever to use all of these different box items. I feel like the 2.0 update really helped like make these spaces feel actually livable. But look at all the different boxes and they have a sink and a washer. I'm just obsessed, okay? This is great. And I love how this is also like an area where they decided to showcase like all their posters and their extra villager photos. This is really smart. I honestly might kind of steal this for my... That might be the final house that I look at today just because I feel like I've spent so much time looking at houses but I did see this villager over here so I wanted to say hi. Have you tried our ramen? I have. I was just at your shop bud. But yeah we've been looking at a lot of houses so I don't know if I'll look at the final three because six houses is kind of a lot for my brain but we might. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna see. I really love how symmetrical the things are on this island. I usually am someone that like makes everything look insane, but this looks super pretty over here with just the gold roses around the well. Or then to the right here, they have these little go boards with the different um, rattan stools. Going down in this incline, I was very distracted by this yard because I think it looks super pretty. So they have these little floor seats next to the fire pit. I love how that looks. It's just super cozy. I really like using these storefronts too to kind of expand the villager house. It makes it look a lot bigger. And I went back up on this incline before I forgot to check this out. And it kind of gives me like maze and Zelda vibes. This is really cool. Ooh, wait, this is so smart here to use like this little pedestal with the- Wow, I'm fucking that up. Oh, <laughs> with the star fragment on top. That looks really awesome. 
I wish I knew like more details about this island because I feel like I'm probably missing the point on a lot of things but so if we keep coming down this path we have a little like mini neighborhood I guess because a lot of the villager houses are spread out but we do have four of them here together Ooh, and we come down here and this is like super spooky so to the right there's like this big castle area and this looks really cool it's like a dungeon and it was so clever that they used the gyroids that look like castles too. To the left here, we have just like a bunch of tents. So this feels kind of like a creepy campsite, which I enjoy. I love their use of the decayed trees. Makes this area feel so creepy. I love how they used a bunch of gyroids as well. It really brings these areas to life. And it does have definitely a Zelda vibe. And yeah, we're at our campsite. Look at that. Wow. Look at this amazing, like, decayed woods. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. And there's Link's sword. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I just noticed <laughs> that we're at a rock garden. I was, like, way too distracted by everything around me. This area is so, so gorgeous. It gives me almost, like, creepy fairy core vibes. I feel like this would be really cool for an island theme. This beach down here looks really interesting, so I wanna see what this looks like. Again, we have this amazing deck code. I'm really obsessed with these. I used these a while ago when I did like a cottage core island and I liked them and I didn't really think they fit my vibe for this island, so I didn't really use anything like that, but I think they look super nice, especially on the beach down here. And we have this really awesome like fish shop over here. This is a really smart way to use a lot of these items. They gave us a lot more um, like fishy items in this update, I felt like. I always love the idea of putting a little fish shop right next to your dock because, you know, it's like you catch the fresh fish there and then you can sell them to your islanders. I just think that's a really nice combination there. And I saw a sign saying our airport is back this way, so I think we're about to start wrapping up this island. Oh, we got Logan. <laughs> Link? Who's Link? I was gonna say I thought that was Link, but I know we don't have somebody named Link on this island. <laughs> so coming back this way, I did realize that I missed a little section. Oh, look, we have Zelda over here. Let's go say hi to Zelda. Hi, Zelda. <laughs> have you seen Link around? Nope, but I have seen Logan. Yeah, so I did like go in a bunch of houses already, so I'm not gonna visit this one, but we do have Amber's house right here, and she has a ton of clothes outside. And then right below her yard, I think this is like a clever idea, is they have a little DIY center and there's all kinds of little trinkets around that is going to help you DIY. We get a toolbox, lots of shells, and of course a DIY table. How could you not? Back behind Amber's house, I'm really glad I didn't miss this. We have a little pool area and this is so pretty. Um, I really like these, I don't know what you would call these, I guess like beach chairs, I don't know. I like that they incorporated a few different like bath slash pool items. Ooh, and this is cute too. They have the Cosmo showers, I guess. So after you go for a swim, you can wash up. We have officially finished looking at this island of Atlantis and this one was really cool guys. I feel like we got super lucky with our random island today. At first I didn't realize that we were on like a Zelda inspired island and honestly I haven't played Zelda in a long time so I didn't really like get everything that was going on but I thought it was really cool and fun to look at. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe. I have a bunch more Animal Crossing content coming in the future. Please be sure to let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this island was. And if you'd like me to come tour your islands, please be sure to fill out that Google form so I can do more of these videos. I have a lot of fun with them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!